Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I love the perk system in Black Ops 4. I know it's been months. We've played with this, we're used to it by now, and we all have our thoughts, but I was just thinking the other day, I was trying to think about how I would f actually get to classified round 150, because that's something I'm, I'm interested in doing. And so I was fiddling around and create a class, and I was just looking at the perks, and I was like, all right, well, I could use Dying Wish, because I don't want to die. I could use Mule Kick and Bandolier Bandit, because I want a lot of ammo. I could use Stamina Up, of course. Uh, quick Revival is always fantastic, but, you know, Death Perception is really good for training, and I was just thinking, like, there are so many different options. And then, of course, just this last week, I, I came out with Blood of the Dead 101 saying, like, hey, let's use PhD, because PhD was buffed, and, like, we can use the Acid Gat now. Like, that's a completely viable strategy that we can use, and, and using the Overkill with the Explosives, like, there are so many different perks, and of course we've got the, the dead shot, which is fantastic for like the classified camping strategy. We've got Stone Cold Stronghold. I'm holding out my hope for Winter's Whale, but you know, it's neither here nor there. Secret Sauce is fantastic when you don't know what to choose. It's just we have a lot of really good perks here in Black Ops 4. And, and, and then I went back and I watched the, the, my first impressions of, well, it was classified, but of Black Ops 4 zombies in general. And the first 20 minutes is me just exploring create a class. And a good chunk of that is me reading off the perks and just giggling with excitement because there's so many and they do so many things and they're so effective. And it's just so great. It's so fun. And I know, I know a lot of this is because of the removal and re-implementation of the original four perks. The fact that we don't need to worry about Juggernaug, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, or Double Tap is amazing. If this were any other game, we wouldn't be able to do this. You know, when thinking about going for a high round, I'd think, okay, well, I need Juggernaug, Quick Revive. And then if it's a training strategy, I'll probably need stamina up. And then if there's a boss zombie, I'll probably need double tap to deal damage to him. And that's it. I wouldn't get any other freedom of choice. No mule kick, no bandolier bandit, no uh, victorious tortoise, no, no nothing. The fact that Treyarch figured out a way to give us juggernaut, to give us quick revive, to get us double tap, and to give us speed cola in the game itself and open up those four perk slots for us to use is a breath of fresh air. I went back and I did play some Kino. I played some Der Eisendraha and it was so formulaic. It was fantastic. It's, it's the pinnacle of what Zombies is back there in Black Ops 3, of course, but it was all the same. It wasn't really different. I couldn't play a map differently because you had to play a map a certain way, in, in the case of perks at least. I thought having a create a class system would really ruin the experience of maps and it would make them less unique and less fun to play, but honestly all it's done is create even more replayability because I want to play classified when I'm camping. I want to play Blood of the Dead when I'm camping. I want to play Blood of the Dead when I'm training. All of those different situations have different perk layouts, and when you're doing different strategies, your perks actually change now. This could not have happened unless they got rid of those base crutch perks. When Black Ops 4 was launched and I didn't see these perks, I was kind of genuinely worried. I didn't know if the escalation would work that well, I don't know if the feedback loops would go very well, but man oh man, I adore this new perk system. I love it. and. It's so difficult to give it up and go back to playing other games, and it's just so stale to go back and use the same perks all the time, and it's so fun to get creative with strategies and what perks do you like and what perks do you do you like, and, and, and change it up with friends and bots, and, and the game mode itself, you play Rush, you're going to have different perks, when you play Gauntlet, you're going to have different perks, it's... It's a wonderful, wonderful experience, and I am so glad that they innovated and improved the perk system. Those 
are my thoughts. I know there's some negative thoughts out there and I'm curious to what you guys think. What are the pros to this? What are the cons to this? Let me know in the comment section below. But if you made it this far into the video, perhaps I've earned a like. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies Morning. I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.